Well, I am planting trees because so many have uh, been removed here along Loveland Madeira Road. But basically, when I moved to Loveland, like 32 years ago, they were just then starting to widen this road. And I went to the city, just curious. I said, so, are trees going to be planted as part of this project? And they said, no. And I said, could they? <laughs> so with a little cajoling and encouragement and a little gentle push, they said, you know what? We can plant trees. So all these trees in front of the school here got planted as part of that. But over the years, some of the trees have died, and many of them were ash, and of course, all the ash are dying. So I kept thinking, oh, I wish somebody would replace those trees. But the problem is, nobody's got money to do it. Not the city, not the school. So I thought, well, I don't have the money to go out and buy a bunch of trees and plant them. But what if... I got tree seeds and planted them in place. It would be very inexpensive to do. And trees that germinate in place, they just take off. Well, definitely in the, in the spring, you'll, you should see things coming up. It gives me great pleasure to look down Loveland Madeira Road and see progress being made. We've, Loveland has lost so many street trees and they have not been replaced. And the thing is, trees are a sign of, vital, of community vitality and just progressiveness, which is why progressive communities are constantly planting trees, because it creates that really positive image for a community. So for us to be losing trees and not replanting, we're just becoming more urban and barren in feel. For a while, Loveland was, um, had the Tree City USA status, but then that kind of fell off the radar screen and the recession hit, so they didn't have a lot of money to invest in replanting trees. And so maybe this will be kind of a grassroots effort to get some new street trees planted. Yeah, we are. <laughs>